We're at the Dream Engineering Lab here in Montreal and I'm about to go sleep on the job. So here we can see our brain activity and we can see that there's some slower waves. So she's starting to fall asleep. In red here we can see her eye movements. So there's rolling eye movements. So she's also starting to fall asleep. And the muscular tone also is going lower. So she's in stage one, starting to get in stage two. Carrie? Carrie. Yeah. Do you remember a dream or any mental experience before I woke you up? I was cuddling Celia's dog, Bobby. <laughs> That's what I remember. We met Bobby outside and then we weren't inside and we were just having a little pet. <laughs> so now her sleep is a little deeper. She's in, still in light sleep, in stage two of sleep. But we can see here in the brain activity, we can see a K complex. We can see some sleep spindles. So these are signs that the brain is getting into light sleep, stage two of sleep. So keep in mind, this is a very quick power nap. It's been half an hour that, she's, uh, that she got to bed. But if we kept going, she would probably get into even deeper sleep in stage three and maybe even REM sleep where her dreams would be more vivid. If we actually get a look at what REM sleep looks like, we can see here in red, these are the eyes, so we can see rapid eye movement, so very quick eye movement here. We can see the muscle tone is really flat, so the person is actually paralyzed during REM sleep. But we see little twitches, muscle twitches that happens once in a while in that stage. And the brain is pretty active, so it's a fast activity. And this person is probably in a vivid dream right now. How did you sleep? I had a nice nap. Yeah? Yeah. You didn't feel like you were sleeping today? I didn't think I was asleep. No. Not at all? I was just doing 